This video has me extremely excited because it's about basketball, a basketball player. There's this NBA player named Jaden Ivey, and he plays for the Detroit Pistons. And he came out and said that the world needs to repent of their sins. Now, when I watched this, it blew me out the water. It blew my mind because you do not see this in the NBA. You'll see people say the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But they won't preach the full gospel because the full gospel is repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And this is what he does. He takes the time to scream repentance. I'm going to play this and then we're going to talk about it a little bit and go from there. Um. You know, like I'm, I'm really, really excited for us. Really excited that we, we got a win tonight. But most importantly, you know, the growth was there tonight. Pretty good. Oh, before we leave, uh, I just wanted to, just kind of, um, first, I just want to say that that Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Um, and to to any any of you know the world that's hearing this message, um, the kingdom of heaven is near. Um, Jesus is coming back, and we all have to repent for our sins, um, and and we have to put our faith in Jesus. He will come back um, when you least expect it, and you know it's it's, it's time to, to wake up if you haven't put your faith in Jesus Christ. So good, so good. Listen, he's in the NBA. Okay, he plays for the Detroit Pistons. He is making millions of dollars and he took the time to tell the world to repent of their sins because the kingdom of God is at hand. Now, there are a lot of people that believe, you know, being in professional basketball is is secular. It's has nothing to do with God and whatnot. God is raising up people to to be in certain secular arenas to preach the gospel, not to compromise. There are certain people, Christians, that God has given influence, you know, but they have compromised with that influence because they felt the temptation and they could not handle the weight of the secular world. They, they cannot, um, you know, handle the weight of who they were around. Sometimes the Lord will give you an assignment to go around those who are wicked, not to just hang out with them, but to preach the gospel, not to go to their parties, but to be a light, um, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. So the end will not come until the word of God is preached in the whole world. This means to the believing and the unbelieving. The believing is going to hear repent, continue to repent, and the unbelieving is going to hear repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, come into the faith of Jesus Christ. Then the end will come, and God is God is doing this in a very swift way. It's happening through the radio. It's happening through the internet. It's happening to, uh, through television. It's happening through pr professional sports. It's happening through a lot of uh, different outlets, a lot of different avenues, so God can raise someone up in influence and draw them into the NBA, the MLB, NHL, whatever it may be, music industry, and they're supposed to be a light. They're supposed to be a light, not to compromise and, and make ungodly music with certain people and whatnot, but they're supposed to be a light. I remember my my first uh, year in um, in college basketball, right, playing Division One basketball and whatnot. I compromised in the beginning, you know, I wasn't engaging into the alcoholism, going to the club, uh, uh, sleeping around, um, doing drugs. I wasn't engaging into those things. I would stay in my room and pray because there was a big opportunity, especially coming from Canada. And I'm playing Division One basketball. And I remember some of my teammates thought I was like gay because I wasn't going out and doing all these things. I remember being in the, in the, the apartment and then girls would be over. Girls would be over and like, my boy wanted me to be like, um, uh, what is it called? Like a wingman or, or to take this one for the team or because this girl brought her friend and I'm just in the room and I would not come out. I would not do it at all. And so my teammates thought I was gay, but I was really trying to work on my relationship with the Lord and walk in repentance. And it, it came upon a time where I felt a temptation. And then throughout the rest of the year, there was conviction, but that conviction kind of like, it kind of went the voice of conviction kind of got smaller and smaller and smaller because I continued 
to live in sin and ignore the voice of God. Okay. And it caused a lot of hindrance in my season that year and going forward because I kept living in sin. So for those of you that are young, for those of you that are looking to play um, Division One basketball or go play professional basketball, you have to make sure that you keep up with your repentance and you secure your position in Christ Jesus. Do not allow yourself to be influenced by your friends or the world. Do not do those things because once you're out of university, reality hits. I play pro and whatnot, but once you're out of university, real life will hit. And all those people you lived in sin with ain't going to do nothing for you. Even when you hit the pros, you know, do not engage into the things of this world because your soul matters more. The Bible says, what does it uh, profit a man to gain the whole world but lose their soul? Your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations isn't your purpose. Your purpose can, can be connected. It can be entwined in your dreams and your goals. There's a purpose to why you're playing basketball. God can use that arena. God could use that influence. God could use that platform for his name's sake. But you need to make sure that you repent of your sins. And listen, Jaden Ivey just coming out and screaming repentance, screaming out loud. It reminds me of like John the Baptist. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And that is the gospel. And Jesus Christ is coming soon. And a lot of people do not believe in repentance and whatnot. But the Bible is, the Bible talks about repentance all throughout the Bible. All right. So make sure that you repent of your sins. Make sure that you are bold as a lion and you're a Christian that has the works of a Christian, that has the works of repentance. Make sure you're not just someone that just sits there, all right? The Bible says in um, Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, from that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand, and Jesus is coming like a thief in the night. We do not know the time, the hour. We don't get caught up in those theological debates and whatnot, but we know because we don't know the time and the hour, we are to uh, position ourselves, secure ourselves in the Lord by keeping up with our repentance. And the Bible talks about keeping up with your repentance. The Bible talks about these things, and these are things that we have to do. Matthew chapter 3, verse 8, bear fruit in keeping with repentance, keeping up with your repentance. So the only way to bear fruit as a Christian is keeping up with your repentance. You understand me? Luke chapter 13, verse 3. No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And Jaden Ivey knows this, and he is a multi millionaire. He's a millionaire, right? I don't know how much money he's making legitimately, but he's a millionaire playing in the NBA, calling for people to repent of their sins. Sins. Do you understand me? Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And some of you may say, repentance is not for Christians. The Bible says here, Acts 17, 30, the times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. It's not cool to get to the top and sleep around and get drunk and go to the club. It can seem fun. It can seem satisfying to your flesh in the moment, but it's going to lead you into hell. It's going to lead you into drugs. It's going to lead you to all these things that do not give glory to God, and it puts your destiny on the line. You understand me? Now, this touched my heart, and these are things we need preachers to talk about more because we got too many compromised preachers. We need more gospel artists to say, to say repent of your sins. Jesus is coming soon because that's the gospel. That's the gospel. The gospel isn't, oh, just have faith in Jesus Christ, believe in Jesus, and then all you just talk about is the love of Jesus. But you don't say, okay, homosexuality is a sin. You go to homosexual and you say, you know, repent. No, you don't even say repent. You just say, believe in Jesus and you'll be okay. But you didn't tell the homosexual to repent. The homosexual continues to do homosexual things. The murderer keeps murdering. The liar keeps lying. The fornicator keeps fornicating because you're not preaching the full gospel to them. And for this man to preach the full gospel is powerful. The Bible says that the fear of man lays a snare, but those that trust in the Lord will be safe. Some of you feel like your contract's going to be destroyed if you preach the gospel. Some of you feel like your channels will get taken down if you really preach the gospel. You cannot fear 
The fear of man lays a snare, but those that trust in the Lord will be safe. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will elevate you. The Lord will keep you safe when you fear him and not man. When you fear him and not man, don't compromise for any man. Don't compromise for any woman. When I was playing, um, when I was playing um, basketball in, in university, all the women know you, you know, and for the woman, all the men know you. You get invited to parties. You get, it's just peer pressure to drink, peer pressure to get drunk, peer pressure to do all these things, go to a club, peer pressure to do some crazy stuff. All those things happen. And it, it's gratifying to the flesh for a moment, for a time. But I'm telling you, there's a day where you'll stand before God. And I love Jaden Ivey for this, for this spoken word that he has given unto the world, unto the world. And Jesus Christ is coming soon. And now's the time to repent of your sins.